Hey everybody, so here's a video about one of the tools that somebody asked about in regards to real-time voice modification. So let's go to um, Ubuntu Software Center. We're going to look for EC Effects. So EC Effects is the one that I was using. There's others. Um, there's others that actually do more stuff in regards to, you know, connecting uh, different input devices to output, to MIDI, to jacks, to a bunch of... But this one's just... It's simple, straight to the point. It basically modifies your voice, mainly your pitch, but it can actually do more stuff like noise reduction and stuff like that. Um, so once you have it installed, let's uh, let's watch it here. Um, so let me explain this because it it's a little not intuitive in, in the beginning, but once you get a hang of it, then you'll understand. So on the output, you'll see all the devices that having output source and right now i have chrome open with a uh, google what do you call it google meet and and you can select the output there for it and then you can add effects and i'll explain the effects on the input so you can see them live uh, but it's the same thing so you select the the application that you want the output to be applied to and then you go to effects and you add the effects there again because this is output it's your the effects will apply to you meaning what you're going to be hearing if what you want is for others to hear you in a different way that's where we go to input okay so here we are on input okay here are the effects that i'm applying and I'm gonna start modifying this. So I, I, by the way, I just added this here by clicking here, add effects, and that's it. They get applied in the order in which you see them here. So basically noise reduction is applied first, then pitch, then the speech processor. I'm just playing around here. Uh, you actually need just pitch or maybe just noise reduction uh, pitch. I did it like this because it, it avoids uh, some of the noise in the background. I got kids and my wife and everything here. So um, once you have this set up and once you on the input, go to recorders here, you select the applications to which this is going to, the effects are going to be applied to. Then you just, and I selected them here, you can see. Uh, then you can just start playing with the, with the pitch. So let's play around with this a little bit. You should be able to hear me in a very weird chipmunk way. And now you should be able to hear me like ultra chill, mega chill. Something like that. See? So it's, it's changing in a live, real time way. And you can scroll also. You can scroll with this and you can start modifying the whole thing. Exactly being applied again to the ones you've selected here. You can see OBS, I've selected it here. Do know that if you're going to be playing games where the input source only shows when you enable it via, uh, for example, push to talk. So push to talk means that the input source many times won't be available until you actually push to talk on the device. So let's say Counter-Strike, you, you want to use Counter-Strike. The only way that you'll be able to see Counter-Strike here, and I'm going to show you something. Let me show you, show that to you. So you can see what I'm talking about. Let's open Counter-Strike here. Let's open Counter-Strike. And we're going to open the game there. We're also going to, uh, let me do something here so you can actually see it live. Um, the, the effect of me push using the push to talk. On Counter Strike on the EC Effects app. So let me open this and let's go here. And there on, on Ubuntu, you can right click the, the system header. You can select always on top. That way, if I go to the game, I'll put it here. Let's roll. Let me do this. If I go to the game, I still see the EC effect on top. Okay, so you see that right now I'm only seeing three. The Capture um, RN Noise Source, OBS, and the Google Chrome Input. But if I press a C on Counter-Strike, 
you start seeing the the CSGO capture stream, okay? It it only shows when I press okay, the buddy. the 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 C. Okay? See? Only like that. What happens if I want this to actually show or to actually get applied always, always. And why am I saying always? Because right now I can check, I can select Counter-Strike. Like if I press the C here in the game, I got no way or speed to actually get to the enable option. So what you do is you click here on the preferences um, on the little menu here. You go to preferences and you actually select process all input streams. So you enable this process all input streams. You got also process all output streams in case, I don't I don't know a case that plays like that. You got this here. Once you enable this, that means that every time I talk, it, it, it will apply the effects to all input devices, no matter if you've selected them or not. Okay, so let's apply those sounds here. Just like this. And if I talk, you should be able to hear me without, you know, if I talk inside the game, it will sound like that. Okay? That's about it. Okay, so with that in mind, and now you, they can hear me properly, I'm going to also show you this here. So what this does is that whatever gets into the input goes to the output of yourself. So you can hear, you can test what others are going to be hearing after you start configuring all this. So let's enable, enable this. this. And I can hear myself right now. I can echo. But it's an echo that will get all of this applied to. So I can actually get an idea of what you're going to be hearing. So if I do this, I do that. Let's remove the noise reduction. Obviously, you, you'll end up hearing stuff in the back. See? Like a, some noise there. So let's have noise reduction. So now you can hear me. Let's add that there. There we go. Okay. So now you can hear me in a different way. Different way? Different way. Test, test, test. You can play with the octaves here in the sense that mainly this is the one that you're going to be playing around a lot with. The noise reduction. The gets applied automatically. And the speech processor, uh, you can, you know, uh, do a couple of things here, especially with the noise expression in the back. But... This is very useful, this tool down here, this button down here, because you can see how you'll hear yourself before actually going live. Chipmunk. Yeah. It's a chipmunk. 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 Let me remove this. Testing. <laughs> okay, that's it. Too much playing around with. So again, remember, um, Let's remove all this. You select the input, you select the apple, whichever you want. I'm guessing it's the input. Add effect. And you start adding all the effects that you want in the order that you want them to. And that's about it. That's all that you can you need to do there on a, on a live, easy effect way. So think positive and big hugs.